Samus before, even on the very first week that Cloud was released. Of course, that doesn't mean all that much, but... Not anymore. No. Yeah, not, not anymore, for sure. All right, so here we go. Smashville start. Nothing these two aren't familiar with. Oh, Nairo just using the flip kick to get out of, or flip jump, rather, to get out of an up tilt string from Tweak. I feel like Tweak actually turned around before the second up tilt for no reason. It starts in the back, so he probably would have been able to connect if he had just stayed facing backwards. Nice, beautiful turnaround grab there by Tweak. Just holding holding dominant position here on the stage. Nairo trying to fight his way back on. Gonna use that flip kick to get center, but Tweak reverses that situation once again. And Tweak very accurate in the early going with his hitboxes. Yeah, this has definitely been a dominant start. Basically 100% lead here, and all he needs to do is land a limit move of pretty much any sort at this point. Even Blade Beam by the edge will do it. But Nairo, definitely a tenacious player. He's not one to just see 100% deficit and count himself out. Yeah. Zero Suit definitely has the tools to, uh, mm. you know, get get it done at high percentages with Nairo going for a very risky grab there um, and going to pay for it with his first stock. Now the deficit is quite huge. Tweak just looking like he's got Nairo's number. Yeah, reading every defensive option here. And that was such a nice follow-up string. Yep. You know, down throw, turn around jab. Wow. Down wow. tilt because you know the jab sends you at a low angle. Mm -hmm. And just kept it going with up airs from there. Power shield, have to do that to make Zero Suit Samus' Nair punishable. You know, provided she spaces it right, of course. Yeah, and right Nairo. now, Tweak looking extremely dominant here versus Nairo. He had him there. He could have just let it rip with the mm -hmm. side B as she landed in front of him with flip kick or flip jump, I, I guess, if she doesn't do the kick. Oh, back air. Oh, my what? gosh. And the Zaya power, Excuse as we used to say in SWR. Getting it done. Okay, little grab string there from Nairo. Oh, and another one on the way. Oh. He went for a footstool. You could yeah. see it. Oh, nice. Good tether cancel right there. That was new. I actually haven't seen him do that. Maybe he wasn't trying for footstool because I didn't see him get an accidental double jump. Yeah. He might have just actually missed his input or something. Well, beautiful stuff. We've seen Tweak intercept with that neutral layer a few times already, which is uh, you know something to look for during this set. In that ledge situation, that kind of short hop height. Oh no. Oh. All right, Tweak drifting wow. away, getting the limit cross slash, and he will take game one here. And Tweak slaying another high level zero suit Samus to get here in anti. Yeah, so, so we just got word from T.O. Tant that uh, Tweak's family actually just walked in. Like he's got, it's a family reunion in here. Tweak's family reunion. We probably got mad. <laughs> we got Tweak's mom. <laughs> grilled cheese was sandwiches here. <laughs> and <laughs> grilled cheese sandwiches and, and all sorts of stuff going on. But uh, whatever Tweak's family be eating. Chicken nuggies. Yeah, man. Dino nuggets. Mm -hmm. Anyway. It tastes yes. better. So Tweak uh, has the has the home field support uh, right now, it seems, or at least the cheering section, and it actually might be powering him up because this guy watches a lot of anime, and that, <laughs> that definitely <laughs> might boost your stats if your family's here cheering for you. Yeah. Nairo right now, though, reversing uh -oh, the no! situation, and you give this guy a hit. And he will stretch it a mile, and I know from experience. But Tweak answering back all tournament, this guy has uh, went down a stock and then had a godlike yeah. response. Yep, I remember that from the anti set. Yep. Okay, so let's see, man. I mean, I totally buy the whole psychology behind the family boost. Like, oh, yeah. hey, mom and dad, look at what I spend all my time on. Yeah. Like, this is worth it. Yeah, yeah. Remember, remember that thing that you guys told me I should probably go to college and become a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, man. And again, Tweak just pretty much one limit break away from winning this match here and going up 2-0 against currently the first-ranked player in New Jersey. Tweak yep. close behind him. Yeah, and the previous PR, Tweak is number Two. three, if you count zero as one. Oh, yeah, zero was on the ranking. I yep. forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. So he'd be the number three player yeah. in the in – the current P uh, power ranking from New Jersey. We do yeah. have a well, new one on the way. In terms of players that actually live in the state. Yeah. These are oh, the top two and that's it. It's going to do it. 
very smart by Tweak. He knew that Nairo wanted to call his bluff, like, hey, run up and dash attack or dash grab me. Nope, psych. Just going to shoot the projectile all the way across and, the stage. And I think Nairo's changing controllers. Um, I know he mentioned to me before that he was having a controller issue um, when we were playing. One of his controllers wasn't uh, shielding correctly, or it was when he would, like, like try and run shield, let go shield, it would it would stick. It would stick, yeah. And so he would roll sometimes. That might have happened at the end. Yeah. But uh, no Jonathans. The triggers on GameCube controllers are, in my opinion, the most liable Sensitive. to break. Yeah. Yeah, because there's like a whole spring mechanism in there, and like there's actually like a, a little like pathway that the the R trigger or R and L triggers travel down mm -hmm. that can very easily snap off, and like a pl small plastic piece can get lodged in there and actually be depressing the trigger when you don't want it to. That's depressing to hear. Yeah, it definitely is not happy news for a player like Nairo who might be suffering from it right now. But either way, Tweak is a man on fire right now. Yeah, Tweak is unbelievable here in winner's quarters. But Nairo looking to get right back into this set and potentially take it. But you got to do it one game at a time. And right now, Nairo is sending Ooh. Tweak for a ride that he did not want to take. 49% here on uh, Energy Superstar here in Smash. Man, Tweak's family's in the building, but I'm definitely hearing some screams for Nairo in the crowd. Oh, that's parody. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's basically Nairo's family, Cheering I guess. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't cheer for him right now. Bias. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep it super neutral here on yeah. the commentary desk, but. <laughs> I probably would cheer for him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that cloud bias, man? Yeah. I thought you was a Ganon, me. I dabble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but Nairo here at 122. Tweak with limit. Uh, his limit is broken in many ways. I'm breaking my limits oh my and gosh. my controller after this match. And because that's not a good <laughs> sign, man. Because yeah. when Nairo SDs like that, he'll start getting kind of upset. Especially when you're down 2-0, it's definitely tough to recover from. Yeah, I mean like anybody that. would get upset at that. So it's not just him. Let's see if he can shake it off. Wow. Yeah, Near I, max range. I thought that was going to sour spot for sure. Oh, Tweak getting baited by the neutral air on shield. That is definitely safe if you don't power shield it. Nice. This time respecting it a little bit more. Tries to punish Nairo's follow-up rather than just the move itself. Yeah, these guys dancing around each other with these hitboxes. Something's got to give, and right now Tweak gets the detail. Yeah, I love the pivot back to down tilt. It's a great way to bait out a whiff move and punish it. Oh, oh, chill. He, yo, he said, this is for my mom. Chill. Oh, man. And Nairo said, that's for your mom, too. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> Say your son's a nerd. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> All right. 2-1. It's not over for Nairo yet. Tweak kind of laughing it off, though. I feel like these are two players who share a similar story where at the start of their careers, they were so, so good. And, you know, they kind of exploded onto the national scene. But they were very emotionally vulnerable. You know, like you could either see them riding that high wave and just destroy somebody with all the passion in the world, or if something kind of doesn't go their way, they crack a little bit, get too upset. You know, it's part of being a young kid, especially when you're very talented and you, you almost feel entitled to the win. Mm -hmm. But they've both definitely done a lot of growing up over the years. You know, Tweak approaching semi-veteran status now, I would yeah. say. Nairo, of course, even though he's only 20 years old, is definitely a solid veteran from the Brawl years. Yep. So they've definitely learned from their past, and it's really fun to see that kind of stuff play out in the long term. Oh, yeah, Nairo going for up smash there, uh, trying to catch that landing, but Tweak got to the ground fast mm. enough. That was weird. I was drinking water. You can't be doing that kind of stuff, <laughs> Tweak. Up air to down air. I really like that. He was definitely trying to spike him, like very similar to a Captain Falcon up air to down air setup. Yep. Except, you know, the character's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice stairs to scoop up with the up smash, but... Tweak responding with down air. I like that. Tweak catching Nairo's roll in preemptively with the back air. Let's see where this goes. We got, again, a huge lead for Tweak at the start of this match. But, oh, Nairo had all the position in the world. He could have done what he does best and, you know, taken a super early kill. Nairo and Zero Suit Sam is both very good at that. <laughs> all right. oh, oh, man, Nairo missing the down smash there. Tweak's climb hazard going all the way onto the middle stage. Forward tilt, not going to do it. 130 here on Nairo. Forward Another tilt one, once but again. Not quite, yeah. yeah. And Tweak now at limit. Oh wow, the weakest dash attack I've ever seen Cloud Connect. Yeah, because the uh, the strong hit, she was still invincible from her air dodge during. Oh. 
And now Tweet gonna hang on to the edge. Nice, jumps over the down smash. I feel like when you see a Zero Suit player go for down smash at the edge, they're really just banking on, oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, they're really banking on neutral get up. There we go, that's a stock. Yeah, up air going to connect. Nairo's calculations were a little off there with that flip kick, but yeah, he got the damage in, but unfortunately for him, lost a stock. Tweak at 111 right now, and Nairo fishing for that up B. Oh, gets stuck on the platform. I feel like Tweak did not intend to land there during his pressure oh, straight. Wow. Actually just goes right into the down smash. Oh. Nairo, how? Wow, we rarely see him miss that. I mean, it's not an easy thing to do. <laughs> yeah, but, but still, it's definitely like one of his bread and butters. Yeah. Sweet spots the edge. Wow. Very nice by Tweak. I feel like Nairo is just a little preemptive in releasing that, though. He's yeah. still got a chance. Just needs to peel this stock off, and then it's basically an even fight. But Tweak has amazing DI out of boost kick. We've seen him consistently get out of that throughout this tournament and many other tournaments before this. Nice. There's the back air, and that will do it for Tweak's stock. But a 63% lead here for Tweak. As long as Tweak smartly uses this lead to sit back and charge, which, honestly, he has not been doing. He definitely has a, a great shot at taking this 3-1 here, but he's trying to fight Nairo, and that's exactly what Nairo's looking for. Can't oh, get impatient against one of the aggressive masters of this game. That was an insane up air out of shield <laughs> just before. That reaction was nuts. To be young again, man. Wow, scary spot there. Both of these players rolling around like two alligators in a ball pit on the top platform. The tensions are high, man. Nairo on the brink of losing his winner's bracket life, whereas Tweak is on the verge of taking out not really one of his demons, but a player that is perceived as better than him, especially oh. just within the state. Well, then again, uh, I forgot. Actually, before when I said, you know, players that actually live in New Jersey, Tweak relocated to Ohio. So yep. <laughs> maybe it's not so much about that anymore. It's just about that PGR. Ooh, and there we go. Yeah, back air will do it. Caught him doing down smash. And Tweak with a 3-1 victory here over Nairo. Advancing into winner's semifinals, so that is winner's side top eight guaranteed. Very impressive. However, uh, he pretty much just walked right into the trap because no matter who wins the next set, or rather the set between them, he's going to be fighting either Mr. R or Boyd. And mm -hmm. Sheik, of course, typically considered a really bad matchup for Cloud. Oh, yeah. And we know that too well, man. Both of us playing, playing man, Cloud. That, that's why.